Hello, welcome to another tutorial on from Live Designing on InDesign topics. This tutorial will touch on the basics of paragraph styles, creating styles and applying paragraph styles. Um, in InDesign, styles are used to format objects consistently across pages and documents. Objects might be text, images, or other things. Um, InDesign has paragraph and character styles. It also has object styles and table and cell styles. This tutorial will go over setting up and applying a paragraph style to text in a document. First we need to open the paragraph styles panel. That's under type paragraph styles. I already have it open so I don't need to open it again. There are several ways to create a new paragraph style. You can select some formatted text uh, in this case I have a block of text that's formatted with hanging indents and a .25 space after and Adobe Garamond Pro font. Pull down the menu on paragraph styles, choose new style, and we get a new style based on the attributes of the text that I have selected. Let's give it the name hanging indent and click OK. Now we see we have a new style in our uh, page called Hanging Indent. And it's applied to that uh, paragraph because when I click into the paragraph, Hanging Indent is highlighted. You can also create a new style by pulling down the menu. And just creating a style and then uh, modifying its attributes. Once you've started to create a new style, type in a descriptive name and go through the various settings tabs. So here we go. Um, paragraph panel. New paragraph style. Give it a name. And then we would look at the various options under basic format, basic character format, which is the font the type of font style, the size, some letting and tracking uh, features. We can also look at uh, these things. There's indents and spacings, uh, character color. All these things are described under InDesign Help, under the Help tab. Help, InDesign Help. This opens a um, the InDesign uh, actually, the Adobe Community Help Center, where you can uh, look up the look at the InDesign user guide, or uh, search it, or search other uh, areas. Once the um, let's look at the hanging indent style, and so we see that uh, first under general, there's a brief description of the style. Adobe Garamond Pro, the indents, and the space after. Under basic character formats, we see Adobe Garamond Pro and its features. Under advanced character setting format, I haven't changed anything. Under indents and spacings, we have the left indent and right indent values to create a hanging indent, and the space after to create a space after each paragraph. You can find a description of all of the other uh, features in here. Uh, under in the InDesign user guide. Some of the other settings tabs uh, will be covered in other tutorials. For now, uh, OK. Now to apply this paragraph style, you select some text and click on the style you want to apply and that formats the uh, paragraph, the entire paragraph with that style. You can also click on parts of several paragraphs and click on the style and all those paragraphs are completely formatted or you can click on another style and format them that way. There are one or two other things I want to show you under uh, styles. 
the based on setting under the general tab tells us that a style can be based on another style thus uh, we could choose style A for the based on or we could choose no paragraph style. If we chose style A then the current style would, refl uh, would reflect all the attributes of style A as well as its own uh, special attributes. Any changes to style A would then be immediately reflected in style B and all of the paragraphs that style B was applied to. Uh, in other words, style B inherits any changes in style A. If we go back into style B and change that back to this based on back to no paragraph style, then further changes in style A will not affect style B or paragraphs formatted with style B. That's uh, when you've got your um, oh, additionally attributes can be applied to text within a paragraph thus we can highlight some text and either apply a character style to it, we don't happen to have one or simply go to the character panel and apply there. I'm going to make that text italic Now you'll note that if we go back to paragraph styles, it's still hanging in dent, but now it has a plus after it. This indicates that there's an override on the selected text, so it's no longer identical uh, to the paragraph style. If we want to remove that override, we can hold down the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac and click on the style, and the override is removed from the selected text. Uh, once you've made your changes and applied your formatting to the document, be sure and save it. I'm going to go File, Save As, and call this um, Paragraph Styles, and save it. That's all for today. Uh, thank you for coming. Goodbye.